Although it may seem like Lincoln is being raised by a pack of wolves, it's more truthful to say that this baby can be quite a pest for our dogs. When many people see video of our little monster with the pups, they ask how we can feel safe having big dogs near our little infant. It might sound counterintuitive, but I believe the safest thing for Lincoln is spending as much supervised time with the dogs as possible. The more comfortable the dogs are with Lincoln and vice versa, the less likely there is to be any sort of issue. What that means for us is that in addition to childproofing our home, we're also childproofing our pups. A lot of our initial efforts were simply getting the dogs relaxed and increased proximity to this new creature in their lives. They received lots of positive reinforcement for learning boundaries and even tastier reinforcement for their gentle behavior. However, as Lincoln grows, he inadvertently grows more intrusive into the dog's space. That means biting, grabbing, and poking anything within his range. Essentially, he's doing everything you should never do to a dog. With that in mind, I like to practice something called bomb-proofing. It's shorthand for keeping my dogs comfortable and safe during uncomfortable circumstances. I like to poke, prod, pick them up, and be all around annoying. All while rewarding my dogs mightily for keeping their cool. It's a good thing for vet visits and baths and other things which aren't that fun. We've now extended this training to Lincoln. This goes to the point where even when he's a total annoying little baby, the dogs don't pay him much mind at all. So, how did we get there with a kid whose three favorite things in life are pulling, pushing, and smashing? Well, we did it a little bit at a time. When Lincoln started being annoying and Zero didn't really respond to him, I rewarded him for that. The goal is to get the dogs to know that if anything bothers them, anything at all, all they need to do is look at me for assurance and a treat. Basically, I'm training my dogs to be the world's biggest tattletales. And these food motivated pups are quite happy to report every infraction. Link hits Penny with a toy, that's a treat. He hits himself in the face and then hits Penny, a laugh and a treat for all. He pushes Penny, grabs her paw, shoves a book at her, from her lick and her yawn, you can tell it makes her a bit uncomfortable, but Penny's learned to ignore him, look at me, and accept a well-earned reward. An important component to this training is that I never tell the dogs to stay. When it comes to Lincoln, they are and will always be free to leave at any time. The purpose here is simply that if they do choose to stay, and choose to nicely put up with this annoying little pup, they'll be paid handsomely. An important note is that training is not designed to remove discomfort or associated signs. What matters is that regardless of what happens, the dogs come to me for safety and reward. Like everything, this is a lifelong process, but it's one we're all finding rewarding, figuratively and literally. I can't say there are no risks to raising a baby with dogs. So I can say the risk of raising Lincoln without their companionship and love are much greater. As the dogs have learned, it can be exhausting to train a new pup. But with the proper effort, I'm confident Lincoln's relationship with Zero and Penny will continue to bloom.